What's up Guardians? Profane here. Thanks for checking out the video. To all the new and returning players out there who are still putting together those double and triple 100 stat in-game builds, you have an amazing opportunity this week to quickly and easily farm high stat armor and high stat artifice armor. This week, the Spire of the Watcher is the featured dungeon. This means that all of its encounters can be repeated over and over again for additional chances of this dungeon's armor and weapons. To those still trying to get the hierarchy of needs, this will be a great week to add that exotic bow to your collection. And since the Spire is the weekly rotator, its master version will be available. Completing master dungeon encounters is the only way to obtain artifice armor. To those unaware, Artifice Armor provides an additional armor socket that lets you add extra character stat points, which in turn gives you more wiggle room when balancing out those Clash Tree Fragments and Armor Mods as you're trying to get those character stats to 100. Bungie did nerf the drop rate of high stat armor in most every dungeon a few seasons ago, and for the most part, the best chance to get high stat armor, whether it's in the normal mode or master, is going to be defeating the final boss. They drop more items at once, and they can drop any of the armor from that specific dungeon. But to do this efficiently, especially on master, you need to have a well-organized team, and this isn't always an option. And that's what makes this week so special for all the solo players out there, because the first main encounter of this dungeon can be completed in just a few minutes, even as a solo guardian, and even on master difficulty, giving you a great chance at earning helmets, gloves, or boots. And if you complete it on master, those are going to drop as artifice armor. Yes, the chance of these armor pieces dropping at a base level of 67 or higher is not as likely as it was a few seasons ago, but it's still very possible. And since this encounter can be completed so quickly, your chances of getting high stat armor will be much better. And if you can get a couple of friends to help you out, that's going to speed things up even more so. And by using an armor focusing mod on your ghost, you can ensure that whichever specific character stat that you're in need of will drop with those armor pieces. This week will be an especially easy week to farm the master mode of Spire of the Watcher, since solar energies will get surged and heavy machine guns will get overcharged which is good news for the Thunderlord, a great exotic to use against those overload champions. But with Solar also getting surged, and rocket launchers having the benefit of Argent Ordnance, the Dragon's Breath will be a really great choice this week. Personally, I always love the combination of a one-two punch shotgun along with Tractor Cannon, which is going to easily take down those overload Minotaur. Once you've gotten past the opening entrance area, you'll have to ascend the Spire to complete the first actual encounter of this dungeon. And all you really have to do to do that is focus on connecting the two sets of nodes that are on each level. Yes, there's plenty of ads here, but they're just a distraction, getting in your way of connecting the nodes. But those enemies are going to disappear once you've completed each level. And once you've connected all three levels of nodes, you're done. Grab your loot and you can restart the process. If you're in a team, you can just trade checkpoints and jump right back into the encounter. But if you're solo, you'd have to restart at the beginning, which is still only going to take a couple of minutes to get back to this point. Spire of the Watcher will continue to be the featured weekly dungeon up until January 30th, so be sure to take some time this week to get yourself some nice high stat artifice armor. And with that said, I wish you all the best of luck throughout this week and throughout the rest of this season. Thank you as always for checking out the video. If you enjoyed and found it helpful, then be sure to hit that like button below, along with the subscribe button if you're new. Both are greatly appreciated and both really do help support the channel. If you're a new light guardian, just starting your journey, or a battle hardened veteran, just looking for a new home, be sure to check out the discord link in the description below and join one of the greatest communities in all of destiny. And until next time guardians, this has been Profane, wishing you all some happy hunting. at the source of the complex's arc supply. 
centuries in Martian rust have done this place no kindness. Our window of opportunity is short. Arc surges destabilize the complex, and Vex are breaching the command matrix. Go. Outside the Black Garden. They're a fanatical sect of programming devoted to the darkness. Or rather, the witness. The Ish 
Ishtar collected in a Seraph complex. Peculiar. They were rivals in the Golden Age. This wasn't just a pillory site, it was a joint research facility focused on extrasolar colonization efforts. Soul Divisive have been scouring research logs. They were looking for something more than to imprison Rasputin submines. Information stored here, but could it be linked to my visions? Why else would the witness be interested in these files? Thank <laughs> you.